Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video for you. This time I have another, if you guess it, an unboxing. So here I have the box. I just got it today and I just got off of work and so I just picked it up moments ago. And in true YouTube fashion, I did wait to open it until I could get a camera in front of me. So... This was a little unexpected, but when things pop up that you've been looking for or that you're really interested in, there's not really any time to wait, basically, and so I didn't. So let me go ahead and open this bad boy. So I got this from my very good friend on Instagram and on YouTube, Sabina Lynn. Thanks again, Sabina. I do really appreciate doing business with you. And if that doesn't give away what this is, just wait until I open it up. Okay. Let me put that blade down. Okay, so I just saw a peek at it and I did see the box but let me open it for you if you can see can you have any guesses it is a chanel box so there you go and let me take put the box down real quick and i'll take the box out oh my goodness okay so here is the box and let me use this box as a stage all right so there we go so there are no stickers on the box but let me go ahead and here, i'll just do this lift up the top box i'll put that down i'll show you the inside you can see that there is some tissue paper in here and let me open that up. You can see there is the dust bag. All right, so let me take this out. Anything else in here? No, it's just more tissue paper. Let me put that tissue paper in there. All right, so actually let me take this box off and I'll put the Chanel box here for a stage. Okay, this is such a beautiful box. All right, so here we go again. Oh my goodness, I'm just taking a little peek inside. Okay, so let me open her up for you. And there you go, you guys. So it is a vintage Chanel. Oh my goodness, and there is a train going by right now, so that is why the camera is shaking a little bit. As you guys know, as some of you guys know, I do live close to the train tracks. <laughs> but yeah, let me just wait a little bit. A few moments later. Alright, so here is the, the bag. It is in uh, caviar leather, you can see or you might not be able to see because it's not so close up. But yeah, this is a vintage single flap, lambs, not lambskin, single flap caviar leather and gold hardware, vintage single flap jumbo. I think I like said a few things this double time there, but oh wow, and it even comes with a, um, a little chain strap and this is from Chanel, wow. You can see, here let me show you, I don't know if you could see the logo there, but that does say Chanel. And here is um, the tag from Sabina's Closet. I will also link her information down below. She is on YouTube and on Instagram, and she has her own little consignment um, shop. 
But let me go ahead and open this up. And there goes the protective cloth. And the hardware is just beautiful. All right, so here is some um, paper, or what is that called? Some bubble wrap. And here is the chains. I swear with these vintage jumbos, these chains are so freaking heavy. All right, so there is the chains all out. And it did come with the, here is the, uh, the care booklet. And here is the authenticity card. It is a, if you can see, it is a four series. Not as like, exactly sure what year that is from. But yeah, so here is the inside. This looks amazing. The stickers in the corner. And yeah, the hardware is just awesome. All right, so there you go. And as you guys know, I did recently um, also get a Jumbo XL in the lambskin leather. But when you see a vintage Jumbo in the caviar leather, you don't pass it by. I mean, the only thing that I think is a little bit, um, you know, so Sabina said this was like an eight out of 10 as far as the condition. And I think it's primarily because of there on the back, there are some chain marks from storage and the, the sides sort of bellow out a little bit. I don't know if you could notice, but probably with a little bit of um, conditioning or whatnot, I could try to get that to go in. But the corners look really good. This is just an amazing bag. So this is the same size as my um, vintage So Black Jumbo. But after using that bag for a while, lambskin is very delicate. Can I just tell you that? It is very delicate. And so one reason why I wanted the Jumbo in the caviar leather is because it is more of an everyday kind of bag and you could use it nonstop without really worrying about it. I do have a French Riviera in the black and I'll, at some point I'll do a comparison video between all of these different bags. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But just for this video, I wanted to show you my new baby. So here on the back, you see there is the Mona Lisa pocket. And yeah, this is such in good condition. It's amazing. And the puffs are still very puffy, or the quilts rather. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or anything else, please leave them down below. And yeah, just stay tuned for more videos. I will do some comparison videos. And after I do wear this, I will do a review. Okay, so that does it for this video. Remember to um, give me the thumbs up, subscribe down below, write any comments or questions that you might have. Um, oh, wait, wait. I think there's some other box down there. Hold on. Let me put this away really quickly. Okay, so it looks like I have another box here and let me open it with you guys, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, this is a true unboxing. I'm not really sure what's in here. Do you guys really buy that fake act? Um, so it is about a week later since I have filmed my unboxing of the jumbo caviar that I got from Sabina and I just got this box today which is like I said a few days later so let me I'll go ahead and unbox this for you and so let me show you the box but I have an item from fashion file and so let me show you what's inside here 
All right, so I have a thank you card. And in this envelope has my receipt. And inside the box you can see, let me take it out. All right, so here is the box. As you can see, it says, used is the new new or what does it say it says used yeah used is a new new and if you haven't guessed it already you could probably see a black box peeking through i have another <laughs> chanel box and <clears throat> if you haven't also guessed this is sort of in relation to the vintage, um, the vintage jumbo that I just unboxed for you. So here's the box again. There is stickers on here, but let me see. Okay, I'm opening it now. Here we go. You can see the box right here. I'll take off the cover. There is the box. It is different from the other vintage box that I just showed you because this has a, a white under box. And here is the item in a fashion file dust bag. Let me take it out with the dust bag. Oh look and here is the original tag. Let me just leave those in there. Put that down. Here, let me show you what I got. So this is the right side up, but the dust bag is on incorrectly. But let me just lift it up. And let me reveal to you another. And so this is a another vintage oh my goodness this is such in great condition anyway so this is a um a vintage another vintage caviar jumbo single flap of course and you can see it has the smaller the smaller hardware let me open it up oh my god okay, let me take the bubble wrap out so the inside is black, and let me see. And here is the authenticity card. It is a seven series, as you can see. If it'll focus, okay. So it is a seven series. I'm still not sure what date that refers to. But, yeah, so, let, oh, and here's the tags. If I take these off, then it's mine. But I will leave that on for now. It is in gold hardware. So let me take this box down. And let me just show you the two bags together. Okay, so this one is the large hardware. And this one, as you can see, has the small hardware. All right, so what had happened was, so I purchased this as you as you guys um I've already told you from Sabina um, on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. But while this one was still being shipped to me, this one appeared on Fashion File, and it was such in great condition. Oh my goodness. And the back is, there's hardly a mark on there. The puffs are so puffy. I only noticed that this side was just a little bit, um, you know, coming outwards. But if I push it in enough, it should, you know, stay just fine like that, like the other side here. But yeah, so. This one came on Fashion File, and I was like, oh my god, I even like texted Sam, Snape HBP here on YouTube, and I asked her, what the heck am I gonna do? 
because I wasn't sure at the time if I wanted, you know, the small hardware or the larger hardware. So and let me bring this baby out. So as you guys know, I also have the So Black Jumbo in the lambskin leather. And this one has the smaller hardware, you can see that. I don't even think this was made in the, the larger hardware. And so I wanted a caviar jumbo, or vintage jumbo that is. But, and so I, I know that the, the larger hardware is harder to come by and it is, I think, more sought after. But this one is just so um, less loud, I guess you can say. And yeah, I think, so I'm gonna mull it over a little bit. So I do have 30 days to think on um, this one. And if I do decide to keep this one, I will mo more than likely sell this one. And if I um, keep this one, then like I said, I have 30 days to, you know, ship this back to fashion file. But yeah, um, I guess that is all I really wanted to share with you guys for this video. I will probably do another video um, updating you guys on my decision. Oh my god, totally first world problems I know. I'm not trying to um, say that this is, you know, a crisis or anything, but yeah, what do you guys think? Small hardware or big hardware? Yeah, so let me know your comments and suggestions down below and yeah, look, I even like wore the same shirt and put on the same glasses as when I was doing the unboxing with this one. But yeah, I got a, I got a haircut since then, so it was kind of obvious, right? <laughs> so yeah, until next time, you guys, just remember to be you and stay confident. Take care. Goodbye.